tonight we are learning more about what happened after two teenagers disappeared for almost a week. A 15 year old from Newton and another teenager have been living in the woods and there are still plenty of questions about their story. WDHN's Christian Jones has more. An Alabama and a Florida teenager have been found alive after disappearing for almost an entire week and spending time alone in the woods. But law officers have many questions for them. From my understanding, uh, from there, Florida wanted them back. We transported them to uh, Southeast Alabama Divergence Center with a pickup order. Last Thursday, 15-year-old Austin Bearfield and 17-year-old Violet Gray were reported missing. Austin is from Newton and Violet is from Bay County, Florida. According to Austin's mom, Whitney Bankston, the two first met last year when Austin was in Florida visiting his father. She says both teens would get a car and go for a joyride, but got pulled over. Neither had a license and both were ordered to stay away from each other. Bankston says the two stayed in contact without her knowledge and even met up weeks before their disappearance. Last week, but the week before, Violet had actually ran away again and came here and she was arrested here two weeks ago. The boy's mom says that Violet got a car and drove to Newton last Thursday night to meet with Austin. According to Newton's police chief, the car that Violet used was stolen. Bankston says once Violet allegedly ran out of gas, Austin got two of his friends to bring him and Violet to County Road 14, where they then went into the woods. And after wandering in the woods for days, both teens found their way to a family friend's home. The friend alerted Austin's mom, and she then took both kids to her home. Newton police took them both to a diversion center. Bankston says that her son is sorry for his actions, but not sorry for his feelings towards Violet. He said, Mama, I'm sorry that I'm putting you and my brother and my sister and my stepdad through all this. He said, I just love her. As of now, law enforcement still have many questions for the two. They will remain in the Divergence Center where they will wait until they are transferred to Florida. In Newton, Christian Jones, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.